Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to episode six of my little Iron Man progress series where we are just cruising right along. We are coming for the Song of the Elves quest and we are gonna be ready for it by the end of this video. We are trying to get level 70 mining. We're trying to get level 70 agility, 70 hunter, and Dad Gemma, we're gonna get 70 construction if it's the last thing we do. Okay, thank you all so much for getting me to almost 50 subscribers now, which is pretty insane. And uh, let's get right into the video. So to kick things off, I'm trying to get level 70 construction, and in order to do so, I needed to get about 122 steel bars based on the calculations I did online. And so in order to get those steel bars, I ran over to the mining guild, and I did a little bit of uh, mining here for iron ore, and I'm just going to use my coal, and I'm probably just going to superheat it and make some steel bars right quick. So like I mentioned, I am just going to superheat um, these steel bars because I'm being lazy right now. With the steel bars out of the way, we needed a little bit more uh, teak log. So I came back and I got some more. We're up to 2248 now, which should be plenty to get level 70. So the next thing that I did was convert all of my teak logs into teak planks. And I used the POH method, but I did not use the PVP world method. So if anybody's interested, I might um, throw a video together showing the method that I use that I kind of developed myself. But anyway, that was the next step to convert all those logs into planks. All right, guys, we just did our very last uh, little trip to our POH, and we now have 2,240 teak planks. What's the price check on that? Almost 2 mil, and uh, that brings my total bank value up to 33 mil, which is honestly, like, not bad for a little mid-level little mid-level iron meme. But anyway, we're going to go ahead, and we're going to start doing mahogany homes, and this will be enough supplies to get us all the way to level 70 construction. All right, so unfortunately I missed the level, but we did just get level 50 construction. I've been using my, uh, m I'm sorry, my oak planks up until this point, but we are now ready to swap over to our teak planks because we can do the, uh, what is it, the novice, I think. Okay, so this will be my very first adept contract completed. Let's see how much XP we get. 2,250, which is actually pretty good. That's an extra 1,000 XP um, per, I guess, contract. And also we get four points now instead of three. All right, so we're taking a quick break from Mahogany Homes to do a little bit of agility. We have to get level 70 agility for Song of the Elves. However, Mornings in Part 2 awards us 60,000 agility XP, which is pretty freaking nice. So we don't actually have to get all the way to level 70. We just have to be within 60,000 XP of level 70, and we will be ready for Song of the Elves. All right, so there's level 69 agility. Um, and let's see how much XP we have to 70. We have 69,000 XP to 70. So like I mentioned a second ago, we just need to do about 10,000 XP here, and then we will be done with agility for Song of the Elves, which I am so excited about because this is the skill I was dreading the most. So as far as level 70 Hunter goes, we're making good progress. We're at level 68. However, let me tell you guys something. I do not want to have to go catch salamanders and look like I failed to get enough birdhouse runs in. So I'm really trying to uh, do as many birdhouse runs as I can while doing construction. That way we get level 70 hunter before we have to go for Song of the Elves. So let's get these done. All right, we are back to the homes of Mahogany Grind. Level 51 construction. Level 52. I missed level 53 construction, but here is level 54. Level 55. We just missed level 56 construction. There is level 57 construction. There is level 58 construction, 59 construction. All right, there is level 60 construction. 61, may I interest you in level 62 construction? All right, so we have to stop the level montage for just a second. We got 351 points now, so we can purchase the most important thing you can purchase for Mahogany Homes, which is the plank sack. So I don't really know how to use this thing. Um, we do get the collection log pop up. But I think that you can just fill this straight from the bank. Let's go look. All right, so it looks like you can't fill it from the bank. I guess it's not a big deal. So I guess you just get all your planks, hit fill. And then how many does this hold? Is that okay? Wow, it holds a ton of planks. My gosh. So that's going to be pretty huge. And actually, I think now that I have that many planks, it's probably worth carrying three steel bars with me. All right, so one thing that's really cool that I didn't realize is if you run out of planks, it'll pull the planks that you need directly from the plank sack, which is honestly really, really nice. This thing is kind of amazing. All right, so there is level 63 construction. That means we are about halfway done with this grind. 
and I'm at a point where I need a little bit of a break from Mahogany Home, so it's time to uh, go knock out some different content for a little while. All right, so we are going to try to kill Dagoneth Rex. So I've got my main account here, and like I mentioned in, I don't know, maybe episode two or something, anytime I'm using my main account to help, I think that's fair game. I'm not gonna pay for boosting on this account as an Iron Man, but using my main in any way that I can, like I worked hard for that account, I'm gonna use it. So if that offends anybody and you you don't call me a true Iron Man anymore, then that that's fine with me. But we're gonna go in there and we're gonna get uh, my main to kill Prime and Supreme, and then I'm gonna try and set up the safe spot so that I can kill Rex. All right, so there's our first Dagoneth Rex kill. That really was not too bad. We don't have the death runes that I really need to get as many kills here as I want, but maybe we'll get spooned a B-ring right quick. All right, so this is going to be our actual last kill of the trip. We got almost 20 kills here, and we got nothing. No uniques, nothing really good. All in all, not a bad trip, though. We will uh, try it again very soon. All right, so we had a little bit of uh, AFK time, and so I went back to shooting stars, and we just got level 70 mining. Very nice. So that puts us at... We need one level for Hunter, and then we need Herblor and Construction, and then we are done with skilling, and we, we will be ready for Song of the Elf. So we are super, super close to being able to knock out the quest. All right, there is 64 Construction. All right, so there is level 65 Construction. We have five levels to go, and based on my current XP rates, that equates to about two hours of Mahogany Homes left to do. All right, there is level 66 construction. And once I finish this contract right here, I'm going to AFK for a little bit. So I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna be doing while I AFK now that I have mining completed. All right, so the next thing that I'm gonna be doing is converting all of my herbs into unfinished potions. And I've done, I don't know, about 500 of these so far. Um, but I am gonna be doing this the old fashioned way. I'm gonna be doing this by hand or however you wanna say it because I don't have the desert diary completed. And even if I did, I don't have the 200 GP per potion to do this because I'm a low level Iron Man and I have less than 600 K to my name. So it may not be the most efficient, but this is how I'm gonna do it. I'm hoping it won't take too long, but I do have 4,445 of these that I have to do. So that's quite a bit. All right, so we finished converting all of our herbs into unfinished potions. We have about 1,100 Renars. We have over 2,500 Irits. We've got over almost 800 Quorms and 650 or so of Antos. So we have most of the um, secondaries, as you can see here at the bottom. Uh, we have more than we need for all of these. However, we are going to have to get a lot of Mortmire fungus, which is probably going to be one of the uh, worst parts about getting 70 uh, Herblore. But we are going to have to get a bunch of those. And then we also have quite a few Cadentines and Snapdragons and stuff that we're going to need to convert to, but we don't have the Herblore level yet to make those into unfinished potions. All right, so I'm coming up on a huge moment for this account and a very big milestone. With this Calquat here, we get level 85 farming, which is huge because that lets us go to the higher tier of the farming guild. And also, even more importantly, we can do hard farming contracts now. So I'm going to go do my first one. I'm pretty excited about it. But this is a level I've been looking forward to for quite a while. This is huge. All right, we just started our first hard contract. It's a Lantadime uh, contract, which we have plenty of seeds to do that. So pretty soon we will be able to collect our very first uh, hard seed pack. But in the meantime, let's go kill Hispori right quick. All right, coming in with the Hispori kill of the day. Ooh, finally, we got another, uh, however you pronounce that, the one that gives you more yield. Um, so I've been hoping to get one of those and then a Celastra seed. I guess that's always good All right, so we just completed our first ever hard contract and I am excited to see what seeds we get That is so oh my gosh Are they all this good because that is insane first of all two quorums three of Antos that is really nice Like I'm lucky if I get two seeds that I actually use I get the U seed with it and a mahogany seed that is so good. I am loving hard contracts already. All right, so the last order of business as far as farming goes is that I'm going to plant a spirit tree right here, and I'm hopefully going to get a spirit tree in my POH pretty soon. And then I'm also going to go ahead and plant a Celastra seed because why not? 
And then finally, I'm gonna plant a, a dragon fruit tree in the fruit tree patch right here because you can get that as a hard contract. So with that though, we are gonna head back to construction now and try and knock out level 70 right quick. All right, well, I missed the level, but we just got level 67 construction. Well, guys, I did just pass 300 points and I could have already bought like the carpenter's boots if I wanted to, but I find it more motivating if I always wait for the most expensive piece of a set to buy first. So I'm waiting to get the shirt, which is 800 points. Level 68 construction. All right, there is level 69 construction. And I gotta be honest, I am starting to get pretty burnt out of Mahogany Homes, but we just have one level left to go. So let's just knock it out. All right, so finally, the moment we've all been waiting for, or at least I've been waiting for, uh, there is level 70 construction, and I think we actually have our birdhouses ready that we can go grab 70 hunter right quick as well. All right, I think this should do it right here. Yes, it does. There's level 70 hunter, so that actually also gets a 1625 total level, and we have, look at this, 70 mining, 70 smithing, 70 construction, 70 hunter, we're past 70 farming, we're basically at 70 agility because of uh, Morning Zen Part 2. All we have left is this little uh, little green skill right here, Herblor. It's time for us to knock out 70 Herblor. All right, so it's time for everybody's favorite grind, which is getting Mort Meyer Fungus. We have to get about 650 of these. And I'm not going to be using the Dragon's Medallion method. I don't want to go do Sons of the Father. I think it's going to be time wasted for just 650 of these. So I'm going to be doing the Ring of Dueling method. And we're actually out of emerald rings. So I'm going to be opening some of these bird nests that I've been collecting. And hopefully we get some more rings of emerald. I'm sorry I said that weird. Uh, but yeah, we already got quite a few. It shouldn't take really too many. So I'm going to open like 14 more of these. And I think we'll be good. And we won't hurt our collection too badly. So yeah, that should be plenty. All right, so I posted like a one minute video explaining how I get my Mortmeyer fungus. So I won't go into detail on this, but... Um, basically it's on the screen right now. This is how I get it. And I'm actually kind of enjoying this grind to be honest with you. It's, it's really not too bad. So, um, this hopefully should go pretty quick and then I'm going to go for some red spider eggs and we will be ready to start training Herblor. All right, guys. So we got our 650 Mortmire fungus. That really was not bad at all. Like I said, like I actually really enjoyed that surprisingly. Um, so up next, what we're doing is we're buying raw sardines and we're going to use these to get red spider eggs. And if y'all didn't know, this is a really, really good spot at Temporos to get raw sardines. Um, so any other irons out there, highly recommend this spot. All right. And if there's any main accounts watching this wondering why the heck I'm getting raw sardines, I'm about to show you. So we use the raw sardines here at the Tower of Life and we put them on this pillar thing. We hit activate and it spawns one of these spideens, however you want to say it. We kill the spideen and it drops noted red spider eggs. So we're going to do this. We need like, I think 250 of them. All right, super excited. We have all our secondaries. We have all our herbs uh, converted into unfinished potions. There's nothing left to do but to combine these and to use them all. So we're going to start with our 1100 uh, Renars here, which we're going to turn everything into prayer potions. So I'm not going to give an update on every single level, but as of right now, we're at level 58. So I'll let you know how far this gets us. All right, so we just finished up our prayer potions that got us to level 62 herb lore. Up next, we're going to work on our irits, which we have a lot to do. We have 2,500 of these. Uh, we're going to use these unicorn dust, and then we're going to do a bunch of uh, super attack potions. All right, so there's level 65 herb lore. As you can see here in the top left, we're averaging over 250k XP an hour, and we've gained over 200,000 XP so far. All right, so we just finished up using our irits. That got us to 67, just almost 68 herb lore. Up next, we're going to be using our Avantos, which we're going to be converting into super energy potions. So we just finished up using our Avantos. We're at level 69 herb lore, and let's see what we have next. We've got 766 quorms that we're going to work on. We're going to be converting all of these into super strength potions. All right, well, there's the big one. There's level 70 herb lore, and that was our last requirement for Song of the Elves. But we are going to go ahead and knock out the rest of these herbs that we have. All right, so there's all our corms used up. Now we're going to use up our snapdragons, and we're going to be making these into super restores. All right, we didn't gain any levels from those restores. Now we're going to use up our cadentines, and these are going to be turned into super defense potions. All right, so we just decanted all of our potions, and I'm not going to read all these off, but you can see 
see we got a lot of four doses here and we gained over 600,000 herblor XP during this. And also that brings our uh, total XP gained in this video to almost 2 million XP. So I worked really, really hard on this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please consider dropping a like. It would mean a lot to me. And in the next episode, this man right here and this Ivan staff, along with his raccoon, are going to get a one-way ticket into Priftinus. See you in the next one. Adios.